Hi there, Kate from Purely Paperless, and I just wanted to talk to you today about a new tool that I've been using um, on my blog and that I plan to use in my classroom this year called ThingLink. Uh, ThingLink is great. It allows you to embed images, text, um, links. You can embed anything that has a URL, including videos, into an existing image. So um, really and truly, the options for this in your classroom are endless. Um, I started using it on my blog, and I've gotten a couple questions from readers, so I wanted to just show you how I made this. So you can see on my blog here, this is an actual thing link. Um, and to do this, you need to go to thinglink.com. Now you need an account. I've already created one. Um, so I'm within my ThingLink account right now, and I'm just going to create a ThingLink image. Now you can upload these from your hard drive, import them from Facebook, Flickr, um, from a URL. Really, you can get these images anywhere. Um, I'm just going to use one from my computer. So um, it's going to load here in just a second. And to make this go just a little bit faster, I did actually go through and save some of the links that um, I'd like to plug in here. So I'm going to call my image Purely Paperless App A Day. And I'm just going to go ahead and plug in some links here. So my first link is to a blog post that I wrote about the site, or the app rather, Futaba. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull that up here. I'm going to plug in my link and it also gives you the option to write a quick description. Now this is a pretty straightforward link right to a blog post. So I'm going to save that tag here, but this time I want to show you what happens. Um, you can also plug in a YouTube video. So I have the link um, to my blog here. I'm going to plug in the link to my blog as well as the description. And then I'm going to take you to this um, link on YouTube. And basically, you don't need any sort of special sharing link. Just whatever link you get up at the top here Hi in the window, you can see here it is, um, you're going to copy. And you can just paste that right into your image. Um, so this is really a neat feature. Um, it's handy for um, plugging in, you know, maybe you want some additional um, media, you're working on a project, your kids are doing some research and they find a video that they want to share. Really, there are some great options here. So now I didn't finish putting in links for everything yet, but I want to show you really quickly how you can share. So, so far I've plugged in just a regular link and then also a YouTube video. So I want to um, take this, you can share it through a variety of social media outlets. You can link to it or you can embed it. So now if you have a classroom blog, um, a home blog, if your kids use something um, where they can post, you want to embed this in the HTML. Um, so in Blogger you have the option of either the Compose feature or the HTML. And I just want this to be large. Um, and I'm going to show you this on kind of my little sample blog here. And I want to publish it. And we are just going to go now and take a quick peek at this on the blog. Now, you can see it's all ready to roll here. You can click and it's going to take you to my blog post on Futaba. Or let's go back and take a look at the YouTube video. How great that you do not have to direct your kids to YouTube, they don't have to leave your site, but they can still enjoy the media um, right within the image. So this is a really, really cool tool with lots of applications for your classroom, and I hope you um, find this helpful. If you have any questions, find me on my blog um, or via email or here at Technology Tailgate. Um, thanks for stopping by.